y'all. My name is Lindsay, and today my presentation will be over St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. So what is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital? St. Jude was founded in 1962, and it's a pediatric treatment and research facility focused on children's catastrophic diseases. They tend to focus on leukemia and other cancers. St. Jude treats infants, children, teens, and young adults up to the age of 21, and then depending on your condition, you could stay until you're 25. We're going to talk about the history of St. Jude. Like I said earlier, it was founded in 1962 by entertainer Danny Thomas. The hospital was founded on the premise that no child should die in the dawn of life. Although it was named after Thomas's patron saint, St. Jude is not a Catholic hospital and it's not affiliated with any religious organization. So the idea that no child should die in the dawn of life resulted from a promise that Danny Thomas had made to a saint years before the hospital was founded. He was a comedian who was struggling to get a break in his career. He was living paycheck to paycheck. When his first child was born, he put his last $7 in the offering bin at his church, and he prayed to St. Jude Thaddeus if he would provide for his family. A week later, he obtained a gig that paid 10 times what he had put in the offering bin. And in that moment, he believed in the power of prayer, and he promised St. Jude Thaddeus that if he made him successful, he would one day build him a shrine. Years later, Thomas became an extremely successful comedian and built St. Jude Children's Research Hospital as a shrine to St. Jude Thaddeus to honor his promise. So, what about St. Jude? Discoveries at St. Jude have profoundly changed how doctors treat children with cancer and other catastrophic illnesses. Since St. Jude was established, the survival rate for acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which was it, which is today still the most common type of childhood cancer, it went from a 4% survival rate to 94% today. That's almost a 100% survival rate. St. Jude has treated children from across the United States and from more than 70 countries. Doctors around the world consult with St. Jude on their toughest cases. St. Jude does so many phenomenal things. There are so many reasons why people should give to St. Jude, be a part of anything St. Jude has to offer. They help so many people in so many different ways. Some of those are family are free to focus on their children. Donations count. 100% of donations go toward the hospital. And they save children everywhere. So we're going to talk about how families can focus on their child. The best thing about St. Jude is that a family never receives a bill. They believe that a family should worry about helping their child live and not have to worry about the bills. There are multiple options for families to stay in depending how long you think your stay is going to be. There's the Tri-Delta House, which if you don't know what Tri-Delta is, it's a sorority and their philanthropy is St. Jude, so they donate a lot of time and money to them. And that is for one to seven days. The Ronald McDonald House is eight to 90 days. And the Target House is 90 or more days and you stay there for free while your child is undergoing treatment so here's pictures the target house it kind of looks like a like boarding school house i don't know the ronald mcdonald house and then the tri delta house just kind of looks like your normal hotel so like i said all donations go straight to saint jude St. Jude relies heavily on the individual contributions. This allows St. Jude to have the freedom to focus on what matters most, which is saving kids regardless of the financial situation. It costs about $2 million a day to keep St. Jude open. Most of that money comes straight from public donation. 75% of funds necessary to operate St. Jude comes straight from donors. So um, I'm from Louisiana, uh, Shangli, Louisiana, and then about 25 minutes from my house is a town called Minden. It's probably about the size of Magnolia. And every year we have the St. Jude Minden auction, and me and my parents, we always like answer the phones, and they have a lot of stuff to auction. They have a 5K, but Minden raises the most money per capita for St. Jude in the world. And I think that is just so awesome to be a part of, to know that I'm helping, like, save kids' lives. And it's it's so amazing. So, St. Jude helps children everywhere. St. Jude freely shares the breakthroughs it makes. This helps doctors and scientists worldwide. They can use the knowledge given to them by St. Jude to save thousands of more children. It's also the world leader in developing new and improved treatments for children with cancer. And they create more clinical trials for cancer than any other children's hospital. So, we're going to watch a video... called St. Jude, This Is Why We're Here. I never thought I would live to see St. Jude Hospital built. St. Jude was born of a long day. Hours after the crowds had departed, 
one and only call remained. Dr. Donald Pinkle, the hospital's first director and employee, had work to do. Young lives depended upon it. They said he was a fool. They said there was no hope. But St. Jude was built upon big dreams and a trailblazing spirit. There were discoveries to be made and lives to save. So he worked. Soon people worldwide joined the mission, lending their time, energies, and talents. Today, St. Jude is more than 4,700 employees strong. The lights never go off at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. The diseases that take our children from us ravage day and night. So we fight through the small hours of the morning, searching for the next innovation. We clean like a life depends upon it, because it does. We cook like we cook for our own families. We fix what is broken. We facilitate care for today and seek tomorrow's cures. And when the sun rises on the other side of the planet, we are there too. We take our mission around the globe because we believe that no child should die in the dawn of life, no matter where they call home. We are stronger together, and working together, we will create a new, brighter future. This is our mission. There is urgency to what we do, because this moment... Pack up your bags, get out the door, you don't get chemo anymore. This moment is why we are here. So that's just one of the videos talking about their mission and why they're here, why you should be a part of St. Jude. There's a lot of videos on their YouTube of different stories of different people that have gone through there. Uh, St. Jude holds a special place in my heart just because uh, at the age of two, my brother, my older brother, so this is me and him, you can see. He was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a cancer of the soft tissue. And it's, it wasn't very commonly seen in children at the time. My parents spent a lot of their time at St. Jude. My dad was a football coach. My mom's a nurse. So they were constantly back and forth at St. Jude. And while they were there for treatment, they stayed in the Ronald McDonald house. So that was the 7 to 90 day house that you would stay in if you were going to be there for a long period of time. Uh, even though my brother passed away, St. Jude took some of his muscle tissue to try and find a cure for that type of cancer in children because they had never really seen it in children before, so it was really weird to them. Uh, they ended up finding not necessarily a cure, but they did find ways to treat it, and they're saving many more children because of that. And St. Jude is just such a phenomenal place. If that is one place that I will always donate to. It is St. Jude. And so, yeah, thank you for listening to my presentation.